Normally I use two different colors. Good afternoon, backgammon fans. Bill Riles, Tar Mendocino, Ace Point backgammon. Bringing you a first round match from the uh, U.S. Open in Las Vegas. Exciting first round match here today. Neil Kazaros from the United States playing uh, Alfredo Unis from Brazil. A uh, couple of very accomplished players. Most people are familiar with Neil Kazaros. He's a giant, a giant of backgammon, uh, number two in the all-time ABT points race, uh, fractionally behind Ray, uh, for Ray Fogerlin. Neil has led that uh, points race for decades. Uh, Alfredo Unis, a uh, very good player from Brazil, well-traveled. He's played in uh, numerous international tournaments. He's played in Monte Carlo several times. I know uh, three or four years ago he beat Chris Trencher of the United States in the Super Jackpot final in uh, Monte Carlo. So uh, this should be a really good match, a 15-point match. These are uh, is a rebuy format, so if you were to lose in your first-round match, you can uh, rebuy. And, uh, and start anew, as it were. Uh, if you win, you're through for the day. So here we are, 0-0, zero, zero, first game. A little bit of a hitting exchange, uh, as is the norm uh, oftentimes with, uh, with backgammon games, backgammon matches. And uh, you know, it takes uh, typically a few rolls until the, uh, the game kind of uh, levels out and assumes a flavor. I uh, hear Neil's debating uh, hitting a, a second checker. Five, six, he gets hit back. So again, uh, Alfredo, that's at two, two. Alfredo has, uh, he had a bit of a structural advantage with the best three point board, but uh, now Neil has uh, entered with deuces. So he will put two of Alfredo's in the air. Threes is a dance. Five, two. Well, with two in the air, Neil would, uh, he'd like to move, but he'd also like to establish some builders. And he does both. Four, six from Alfredo. Now, Neil's got, what, 10 and 11 in the zone. He forgoes the cube for the moment. Double fours, which is really going to put some pressure on the Alfredo. Um, very likely Neil's going to be in a play on position. He could pick up a third checker. He could make the deuce point. He's got a lot of, um, a lot of ammo, a lot of builders. I think I personally would pick up the third checker and come on to the 10 as he did. Gives you five checkers bearing on that five point. Um, there he comes in anything without a four and Neil can make that point six, four, <laughs> As uh, as luck would have it, so he's probably still yet going to hit, and then uh, I guess we come down uh, thirteen nine. Then you got five five covers for that checker. He's uh, he's uh, studying his his various options here, and that is his play. So again. Uh, Unis rolls an ace. Now Neil's a huge favorite to to make the prime. There he can. He he makes the five point and the seven point. Exactly. So now he's a uh, high probability of uh, a gammon in this match at the moment. There he can. Uh, he could shift, not risk getting a checker hit. He could hit loose on the uh, on the ace and bring another builder into the five. So let's see uh, what he chooses here. He may uh, he may well shift and put that checker in the air so that uh, Alfredo doesn't have the opportunity to to make an anchor. Okay, he does shift. So now what? One there and then the 13-9. Okay, so again, a lot of pressure on Alfredo to, to enter. Gets a deuce, gets one in, but now it's open season uh, for Neil. 6-5 makes that point. Three-six. 
three, two. Can you close those middle doors? Thank you. Six fives again. Uh, Alfredo just uh, hoping to to get fortunate to uh, to get his checkers in, make an anchor, and perhaps save the G. Even if he makes an anchor, he's still in distinct uh, potential of getting gammoned here. Uh, unless he could, uh, and it's with two in the air, it's unlikely he's going to enter and hit Neil. So. Uh, Needing a five, he gets the five, so that that may may save him here. Four one. Neil doesn't want to leave the shot on the indirect. Unis dances again. Four two. Anything but a five four. Four two. Okay, so five three. What's he got? He's got nine, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen crossovers to beat it. Neil rolls a six five, so Neil's the favorite for the gammon at the moment. Alfredo's gonna take every crossover he can, tries to most efficiently utilize the uh, the dice that he's given. He gets another 3-1. Going to have to do better than that. Neil gets the 4-2. Alfredo, he had a three, three ones in a row. How brutal can it be? So now he's 6-11-12. He's a heavy favorite to get gammoned here. Fortunately, the cube's in the center, and then he'll only drop two points. Neil got uh, very good, apparently too good too early to uh, didn't have the opportunity to put the uh, doubling cube into play. So he'll seize a 2-0 uh, a lead here. I got a uh, message from my good friend in Brazil, Roberto Galli, a few minutes ago. Uh, said to give him a shout out and uh, wishes he was here and appreciates the stream. And as it uh, as it works out, our first stream has one of his Brazilian uh, countrymen in this match. So uh, Neil Cazaros leading 2-0. Right, uh, stream two, which I'd previously announced, is on uh, youtube.com forward slash AP live, is Steve Sachs versus Rafael Lopez de Lara from Mexico. So we have an international player on uh, on each of the streams in this first round uh, this afternoon. 3 1, automatic on the five point, perhaps. And. Uh, Five, three. Again, this is first round and a rebuy round. So uh, the losers have the opportunity to, to rebuy and uh, play another match to hopefully advance into the beginning of the undefeated bracket tomorrow. Now, just a quick update. Uh, we'll have these uh, round one matches and round one rebuy matches this afternoon the dinner break and these are all las vegas time specific time uh the dinner breaks from 5 30 to 8 today and then at 8 p.m there'll be a uh, live streamed lecture by steve Sachs, uh, one of the giants of backgammon uh he'll have a one hour streamed uh, lecture and then at nine o'clock Tonight, we will uh, resume jackpot matches. So it'll be round of 16 in the super jackpot. Um, 
those uh, those pairings they're they're redrawn each round so we don't know what the pairings are now here's a cube from alfredo he's got neil three checkers behind a five prime um fairly good uh, obviously pip count advantage um neil has the forward anchor so maybe not totally uh unreasonable to consider taking this uh, cube it's early in a 15 point long match so uh let's see neil neil takes it let's uh let's play some backgammon so uh okay a three two now neil's gonna try to be uh building a board here and you know he went ahead and put the spare on the on the four so he can run with the spare um and it eliminates the chance of it getting one closed out over there there's a six four which neil can hit with but uh at what expense he's going to play playing with three blots um but he's he's willing to take that risk a six picks up one of them ace deuce so he's gonna come in with the ace likely hit the deuce so he's uh, having to make some calculated uh, risks here to to get back into this game a three six escapes all the backside trouble neil's getting way ahead of himself uh timing perspective now he'd like to roll a another six and be able to Put that spare from the four point into motion and uh, and buy a little timing here without uh, without having to crunch in his home board. Five four doesn't work. Now nah, probably uh, where he kills the six is in a sense, but I mean he's forced to use the one six from the uh, from the four point. And here's a uh, blotting number for uh, Alfredo right out of the gate. So let's see how he chooses to play this. He's going to go with the the two blots, which maintains his five point board four six. So that was uh, not Neil's best against two blots. So uh, Alfredo's just going to try to carefully distribute his checkers to bear in safely against this four point board. Another or uh, four point holding game. There's threes, which clears it all to the home board. Now, barring a 6-3 on the next roll by Unis, <laughs> uh, this game's probably over. And there is the 6-3 from Unis, leaving the shot. Now, if Neil can roll a three, uh, we may be looking at a 4-0 game. There's a three. He, Alfredo has the... Uh, the shot at a deuce, unless Neil opts to lift it. I think you. I think I would lift it, perhaps. Now, he chooses not to, but you could uh, kind of like dupe his twos if you did lift it. But he, he dances. There's the cube going back. Neil has what twos and nines to cover. Aces to lift. Alfredo drops it. So. Uh, Nice little uh, last roll turn of events in Neil's favor. Alfredo's expense. He rolls the six three, which was the only uh, the only blotting number. Okay, the other stream, and I guess uh, standard graphics said he found it now, but it's on the Ace Point Bagaman YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash AP live. That's uh, Rafael Lopez Delara from Mexico playing Steve Sachs from LA. Here we have Neil Kazaros from uh, United States, Chicago area and Alfredo Unis from Brazil. Okay. Alfredo's gotten uh, a couple of nice rolls early to give himself a nice advantage in this particular game. 
trailing four zeros. Not a huge deficit in a 15-point match, but still yet he's going to uh, you know, like to uh, take advantage of any uh, early positional advantage that develops. Now Neil was able to make an anchor, so it's uh, he's lost some of that uh, momentum that he might have had that Unis might have had. Hopefully everyone uh, is enjoying our stream here today. This uh, stream one is uh, on the YouTube Bagham and Galaxy channel. We uh, appreciate Bagham and Galaxy's support of uh, these various events by allowing uh, broadcasts on their YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, to their many tens of thousands of subscribers. So uh, I think it's an excellent opportunity for the uh, Bagham and community to see some, some uh, nice matches and events from around the world. Now, this is... Uh, Again, the, the U.S. Open from Las Vegas. It's organized, directed, and managed and everything else from Rory Pascar from Chicago. He uh, took over this event from uh, Howard Markowitz um, three or four years ago. Howard had run the event for uh, an extremely long period of time. But uh, Howard decided to, to hang it up as he aged, and Rory took it over. And uh, he's doing quite a nice job in uh, in continuing that uh, Las Vegas tradition. Six one. So Onus has a a nice five point board. Neil just uh, rolls nickels, which gets him out of there. Um, Alfredo, it's got you know two strip points back here on the midpoint and the. 20 point, he rolls a 6 1, which allows him to leave from the 20. Um, Neil would hit there, particularly. Well, he has the opportunity, but leaves the shot to do it. So he's going to opt to uh, hope for another, uh, another shot here. Alfredo's still got some difficulty in, in clearing against Neil's uh, two over there on a 17 point. So uh, I think Neil may well choose to uh, to go this route and hope for the the later shot. If he were to hit here, he'd have to leave the direct shot, which uh, is, is not too much fun against Alfredo's uh, five point board. Now Alfredo again, he's probably going to go to the five point here. Uh, he could come out from the 20 to the uh, 15, but then he's going to have to play the three inside, which breaks his board. So, uh, really interesting here. He's uh, obviously, I think he's a bit behind in the race, not substantially so. He decides to come out and break the board. Or six. Neil play. Uh, uh, he he could. Uh, he's just going to make the points. He he could have opted to to run with the two blots and the board. Okay, so uh, Fredo can make a point. I don't know that I'd now. Do you make? You leave him two strip points like that. Uh, hard to clear. Could have left. Uh, four on the 12 and, and played uh, another point inside another pip inside would have been easier to to clear all the checkers uh, from the 12 point here he's uh, got any number of blotting numbers um, with the two stripped points or one he'll play this inside Neil probably has another role and that he can absorb 
and remain in that uh, threatening position on the 17 point. Okay, Ace is. Now this will be interesting to see. Uh, I'm tempted to make the six point. I'll have a five point board and let Alfredo play toward me. He's uh, he's probably a favorite to leave a blot here, and he does. So now, what does he choose to blot with? He plays to the uh, to the seven and nine, likely minimizes the shots, and without an ace, Neil might see the. Uh, the swing as he does now he's vulnerable to uh, to getting hit three no three but not a bad miss with a set of fives so uh, Alfredo's fairly well ahead in the pip count six five brings it a bit closer Okay, Ace, as he brings it in, takes one off. Now Neil rolls. This could be an extremely close uh, extremely close race. Two ones, not his best number. So now he's down about, what, eight, nine pips? Eight pips, I think. No, not even that. He's down four pips. Two to get to the six and take a two off. That's four to make a mirror image position. So only four pips. So I think Alfredo's just got to roll. Six, two. Four, one. So now he's seven pips down. Again, it's getting close. Seven pips on shake with uh, two extra checkers off. Neil passes. 4-1, Neil. That's right, Killer Ducky. There's entrance fees and the... Uh, you know, top finishers uh, share portions of the uh, of the prize pool. You maybe put in the um, Check it out. In there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, okay, four one Neil and. Alfredo's got two in the air. Got a blot on the ace point. You know, uh, pardon me, I'm occasionally glancing down at the stream chat. If any of the viewers have questions, comments, uh, suggestions, whatever feel free to uh, to join in and we'll try to uh, answer those questions or learn from your comments whatever uh, we like to have a real interactive streaming session with these matches and again that four two Neil had hoped to make the five point so uh, Let's see well, how Alfredo evaluates this position. He's he's in an advantageous position. He's down four one in the in the match, but uh, I think it'd be a maybe a touch optimistic to to cube here. Neil's still yet got a deuce to play, which I suspect he's going to play six four. But he could opt to slot on the five. But I think that's a a little rich and unnecessary from my perspective at this point, but Neil's a, you know, orders of magnitude better player than I am, so we'll see. He does decide to go with, which now, now does Alfredo, that makes it a little bit more uh, enticing for Alfredo to, to cube here. Maybe that was uh, 
Neil's plan was to to get Alfredo to double him. Double threes it makes the five point. He's gonna slide on the three now. Five three. Go oh, the deuce. So it's kind of a, a bit of a standoff game here. I'm against Prime. One, so he's going to hit that checker step up there. He's got two blots, although Neil comes in, he's going to probably break his five prime here. He dances, which is probably advantageous to him. Deuces for Alfredo. Two, two more. And he, he's going to just not play with the extra blot, so... Deuces for Neil, so uh, turn about fair play. Again, this is uh, not something he can handle real easily. But again, he hopes uh, Alfredo comes in and, and perhaps has to break his, uh, his board. So they're both uh, kind of treading back and forth here. Okay, there's the cube, and in this prime against prime situation, so a double take is the uh, correct action, and then the three four really hurts because he makes the point, but he has to break his prime. Neil immediately rolls a five, which uh, now he has seized the uh, seized the advantage. Hello to a lot of our friends here, Mister Zakrishek. Dimitri, uh, welcome. Feel free to to help me out here with your comments. So Neil got that, uh, took the prime versus prime cube, um, got the immediate shot, uh, hit it, and a secondary shot, and just uh, cashes that two cube to seize a 6-1 lead early in this match. And of course, uh, Dimitri, Zakrishek, Ian, some of the usual crowd and, and others. So welcome to all. Carol Cole, what, aren't you playing? Oh, Carol walked by. I thought she, she usually plays even though she's running the boutique, but apparently she's not playing this year. Just side events, she says. Yeah, we you can come over and commentate, Carol. <laughs> so, let's see. You know, it's interesting. and It seems in uh, almost all of these early games, Alfredo's gotten, a, you know, an early structural or positional uh, advantage and it's like every one of them uh, Neil turns around and of course you know those of you excellent experienced players such as Neil and such as Unis I mean they uh, you know it's like trying to kill a snake you, you know you gotta do more than just cut its head off you gotta make sure it's dead so these guys uh <laughs> Hey, uh, you know, they, they never, never give up. They grind it out and, uh, you know, they've seen every in their careers, long careers playing back and they've seen every occurrence that, uh, presents itself and, uh, can take advantage of it. And, uh, we're seeing that in some of these early games, Neil's gotten, a, you know, a couple of breaks and, uh, He's taking advantage of them. He's he's taken a couple of cubes that uh, were probably uh, doubles by Alfredo, doubtlessly takes by Neil, and he showed why they were takes. He got the, uh, the breaks and and turned them around, and Alfredo got to drop the the re cubes. Hmm. 
Yeah, Raphael's in there with sacks. Yeah. Okay, so um, to answer, who is it? Backgammon is beautiful. I'm not sure who that is, but there are in the open here in Las Vegas this year, the 46 entrance. Uh, I think they paid uh, 500 uh, entry fees. So it's 23,000 prize pool, less some rake. But uh, there are rebuys, so the 46 uh, entrance. 23 are going to lose in the first round. Probably something on the order of 15, 16, 17 of those will rebuy for half price. So that's um, what? 15, let's say 16, 8. So you're going to end up with about a $27,000, $28,000 prize pool. Uh, less a rake. So first prize is probably going to be in their 12 grand range, 13 grand range. Okay, so Alfredo's a well ahead in Pip County, a little advanced here, though, perhaps. Um, certainly better distribution than Neil's, but uh, that better distribution may cost him in flexibility trying to play the next role or two while Neil enhances his positional uh, situation and uh, makes a board. Now, double six is. Uh, have to rejoin the cures what else uh, Alfredo might have had. So now he might test Neil's uh, medal again by sending him another. There it comes. Neil hasn't been shy. Early on, now he's, I, I don't know, what is he? Nine, 36, 39, 73, 101 for blue, if I'm right. Six and a half, 51, 49, 69, 109, something like 115. So it was, uh, I forget the numbers I counted, but on the order of 12, 13 pips. So uh, a good drop in all likelihood. 6-2, um, Neil. Six four as the trailer. Alfredo makes the uh, deuce point with the opening 6-4. I oftentimes uh, do that myself when trailing. Um even score or or ahead, I'll typically uh, play it differently. Five three, Alfredo is going to take uh, get, has a three points in the board. That is a it is a three point board, but it's a little awkward with the deuce and three points. Um, He uh, decides to step up against Neil's advancing defensive position and uh, not make the, th the four point. Neil immediately replies with a double four. So uh, probably in retrospect, a good play by uh, Unis preceding that. Hey, Neil's Neil's got a lot of, you know, broken five prime, a lot of spares. Alfredo's going to hit him, but then it's a question of how many blots Alfredo wants to play with against uh, Neil's better structure. Decides to lift the one. There's a set of aces, which is going to make the five prime. Alfredo's uh, a pip offset from the front of that prime, so it's... Uh, You know, an, an interesting position here. Neil's uh, going to send it his way. Alfredo uh, respectfully declines. So we're at 
seven two. Okay, so 6-3. It's a 15-point match, but Neil has an early 5-point lead, so Fredo's probably going to you know, start playing a, perhaps a bit more assertively to uh, try to get back into the match. Neil's not going to rest on his heels, but with a fairly decent lead, he's, he's not going to be super aggressive either. Fredo's probably just going to play well, behind, but that gives him a number of builders in front. So he's perhaps a favorite to make the five or the seven. And the double fours going to take him all the way. So now he's going to have a fairly substantial uh, pip count advantage here and a structural advantage of uh, you know four strong points with a lot of spares in front of Neil's uh, trailer he's thinking about making the two point and leaving those back on the the 14 um, we all have our styles of play I think I would move those uh, those two on to the uh, on to the 10 point Hey, Alfredo does uh, decide to go to the other route. Three, four by Neil. He's probably going to come down and maybe make the two. Now, Alfredo, is he going to test Neil again? No, he decides to roll. Gets another set of fours. Now, what do we do with those? Okay. Plays two to the ten, makes the five point. Neil can escape, but he's far enough behind that. Uh, what's the count? He's seven. Uh, he's a good. What? In the range of 14, 15 pips down without precisely counting them. So he's going to send it to Neil. A drop. Seven three. Seven three. Take a little break. Okay. See you in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Neil's gonna step away for a second. There's a water station in the back of the room. He may be heading there or he may take a little uh, facility break. But it's been uh, it's kind of an interesting uh, first few games here. Yeah. Right over there. So, um, you know, it's interesting. Uh, we haven't had any real complex strategic type games among these first, however many games this has been, uh, five or six seven maybe uh, there were a couple of uh, early positional advantages to Alfredo sent the cube Neil uh, they were probably good cubes Neil took them probably good takes and uh, you know he uh, he showed why they were takes and uh, managed to turn them both around and and Alfredo uh, had to turn down the recube
Yeah, who, uh, who's ex well, I guess aren't what they used to be? Extreme Extra Anderson is asking about on the cubes. Uh, you know, is it pip count consideration, positional considerations, all of those certainly. Um, you know, there can be circumstances where just the the race is such that. Um, you know, you're far enough ahead that it's unlikely that the other person's going to be able to, to catch up in the race. Uh, but certainly there are those positions where, uh, you know, your, your structure is such that perhaps uh, even though that you're, um, you're behind, you may have a double. Uh, you know, we saw that prime versus prime uh, cube in the second or third game where, um, again, those prime versus prime situations are, uh, in my understanding, based on, I guess, stick and others, that prime versus prime is almost always a take. And, uh, you know, it's not to say it was a bad cube, but uh, I think Neil correctly, uh, you know, correctly took and, uh, and it paid off for him. Uh, glancing over real quickly at stream two, that's uh, Rafael Lopez de Lara leads Steve Sachs two to one in their match. So here we go. Neil and Alfredo are are back in position, and we're starting another game. Double fives for Neil. Kind of a standard play. Five four. Alfredo will take the the anchor. You know, rolls at 3-2, makes another point. Aces will make the 5 and the 7. Three five. Neil steps up. Neil needs to anchor. There it is. Alfredo's stripped all the way around. He needs a needed a set or something of that nature. He rolls a six four and runs with it. I'm sorry. Uh I don't know where the cube went. Perhaps so. Is that it? Nice glass of water right behind Neil's phone. I'm not. Okay. Tara sitting next to me and we're ticking. <laughs> they'll, they'll never put things in the places she wants them to put them. She, she's the uh, streaming production perfectionist and uh, she does extremely well at it. Okay, so here again, we're in one of those uh, situations where Alfredo's probably ahead, has a structural uh, advent advantage, but, uh, you know, Neil's causing him some headaches with that four point. Five, four, so he's going to come in with a four and five to the three. There you go. Look at it the other way, going to the ace. Okay. Gives him a little bit more flexibility on the next roll. Neil's going to play to the three now. No, he takes it in. He kills sixes. Neil can, has a five in his board, but if he rolls a six, he doesn't have to play. So... Okay, Alfredo. This is a um, an interesting pr position. It's a, a lot of in, a lot of risk, but uh, he opts to to roll and uh, doesn't uh, realize the potential that existed. And now he has perhaps even less potential next roll. Neil says uh, 
the hotel is open. Just uh, give me something to shoot at. Now, Fredo's got a bunch of pick and pass numbers. Uh, four, one. Four, four. Look at here. Joker, Joker back. Now we're going to find out where the cube is. <laughs> Neil's going to roll on for a while. Uh, there's no downside to, to rolling on. Maybe he gets the uh, the freak G out of this. But uh, he won't be shy about uh, sending the cube at the least potential of uh, leaving a shot. But Alfredo's got, what, eight, nine crossovers. So, um, five, three. So Neil's just going to play on, see if he is fortunate with the G. And now he's got four off already. There, oh, that solves that problem. So now we'll see where the cube is. Neil's going to find it real quickly here. Yeah, it's behind the no, it's behind the baffle box. Neil, you can see it black yeah, behind the back. Neil reached for it, and Alfredo said, "No, thank you." And so Don't we worry uh, about he didn't to one have shot to present it until they happen. <laughs> have no choice, of course. Okay, so eight three, Neil. Your four one was a nice. Roll. And uh, it's interesting; both these guys are playing at a pretty. Uh, relatively fast pace so i don't think uh, we're not going to have any uh, time issues in this particular match okay neil's gonna make a couple of points five one so uh Hopefully y'all are enjoying this streaming. We're going to, you're going to see nonstop streaming here for the next, uh, no, wait, 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 wait. He could have, he could have hit this checker over here. I don't know if he, no, he couldn't. I'm sorry. I, I, I miss, uh, it was, yeah, I, uh, miss saw there. But anyway, we're going to, um, today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll have, um, wall-to-wall -wall streaming uh, two streams uh, continuous action so, and a lecture at 8 o'clock tonight live stream Steve Sachs um, so that'll be fun tell your all your friends and neighbors and fellow players check Steve out be some uh, interesting points to to perhaps learn Yes, Roberto. Eight to three. Neil. Set of fours. What's his? Neil's going to make the three point, and uh, I think, and, and leave another one out there. Recirculate for a bit of timing, perhaps. If he gets hit. Yes, my, my good friend Roberto Galli is watching from Brazil, so we, we put a uh, put a Brazilian on, especially for you, Roberto. <laughs> Tell Monica hello for us. Tara's sitting here next to me. So, uh, and by the way, we, we're looking forward to uh, Roberto's going to be in Chicago at the end of May, so we'll, uh, we'll see him there. And hopefully uh, he'll bring his lovely little wife, Monica, with him. Okay, so again, Neil has a, a very nice uh, defensive structure over here in his, in his home board area. 
and it's, it's funny these it seems like every one of these games is taking a very similar uh, similar flavor and this is uh Kind of interesting. I don't think he wants to play behind him, so maybe he plays two to the five. Oh, I, I was again. I was reading some uh, some chat notes and was thinking that was uh, Alfredo's uh, roll. One of the hazards of playing with a baffle box. The uh, the dice are always on the same side of the board. Okay, two one. Can't uh, can't tempt fate with this five point board of Neil's over here. Four two. So he can't do anything with the the back man. Maybe he just goes to the ace. Either goes to the obviously the the deuce or the ace. Fredo sends it. Neil snaps it up. It's like he, he had anticipated that was going to happen, and he had already decided what he was going to do when he made the play. Partly part of the consideration of the play that he made. A set of fours, so Neil's moving on with those, and he only has to worry about the, the one trailer back here. It's vulnerable, but Neil has a you know, very strong board. Uh, so Alfredo's going to have to be careful in uh, in attacking. There's his own set of force. So uh, kind of a a good antidote to to Neil's set. One five. So, uh, is it two inch? Yeah, this is a two-inch Jeffrey Parker board, so it's a so it's a, a lot of reach across the board. There, Neil gets out and runs, so it's pretty pretty close uh, pretty close race here. Not anywhere near a cube, I don't think. Neil, he's always going to look at it, though. It's like, I think Neil, or uh, Kit Woolsey makes the word, you know, every turn is an opportunity to double, so most people will say, always take a look. There's a... Green the ace. Oops. I like to toss these at the top of that baffle box rather than just drop them, place them into the top of it. So and and sometimes their uh, their aim isn't that good in tossing. Okay, so now Neil's got the chance to catch up a little bit after Alfredo's two one. There's the four five, so it's very close now. Four five. So Alfredo has nine checkers. Neil now has nine checkers. Alfredo on roll. Neil has the high gap on the five, but six is uh, six is cures all. Here comes the cube. Recube. Alfredo gets to eat a recube for the third time in this match. 10-3. Yeah. Okay, so 10-3. Uh, Alfredo's probably... 
Bak görmüş Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alfredo is uh, kind of starting to gag on his own cubes here. He's choked on three of them. Not to say choking in a choking sense. He just uh, has uh, gotten them shoved back at him and he's had to drop them each time. That's, uh, you know, we see it with all of these okay. players that we're, we're streaming. Here's okay. S2 of Neil's in the air, and Neil uh, not going not gonna to try to feed this one back to Alfredo. <laughs> this one's a little too rich for, for Neil's taste. But, you know, these, uh, in all of these matches that we've streamed yesterday, we had O'Hagan and, and, uh, Nazarian and Joe Urso and and uh, others, um, great players all, and uh, you know these guys. Certainly, you can't be uh, fearful and play back. I mean, you got to be bold, seize the opportunities, um, recognize the potentials in various situations, and act accordingly. I I oftentimes use a phrase you. You know, you can't be afraid to lose and you can't be afraid to win. You have to, uh, as our late great friend uh, Malcolm Davis once said, you got to let your dice, uh, you know, give you your best shot. Let your dice do the best you can for them or with them. So six gonna have to hit, yeah. Oh, went into one of those hitting exchange games. Yeah, Alfredo down. It's at five away, eleven away, but he just he can't. He just needs one little pause or or miss by Neil to put him into a position where he can consider uh, consider doubling Neil but uh, well there's 6-5 hits across or this uh, that's Neil's and it, it does hit across but he is he going to he's going to play it that way that's a little difference to uh, you know, having three back, but Neil has, uh, well, six, four, gets two. Four, one, going to pick and pass. A set of sixes. That'll work. What do you do? You can come to the eight, maybe, huh? From, uh, yeah, from back there. There you go. That's the sort of thing. Me and uh, I guess Joe Urso and I were talking about yesterday, and saw it there a little bit. And and you don't see it so much with these very experienced players, but uh, in lesser experienced players, oftentimes people have a tendency to play doubles in pairs rather than play them individually. And as a result, they sometimes uh, you know, overlook some overlook some nice roles. Well, thank you, Reese Mack. We uh, put a lot of effort into these streams, and uh... oh, really? 
Tara says she's thinking Reese Mack produces commercials or something, professional videographer. Maybe he can confirm that for us. But uh, we appreciate your appreciation of our efforts. Uh oh, dancing against Neil offers him two blots to shoot at now. Neil's going to play on something uh, six, one six. So he makes the makes the four point the five four. Just going to have to hit lose, I think. Yeah. Now we're getting into that point of the game, Neil. With the big lead at five away, 11 away, here he's in a fairly strong position. Advertising creative director. Close enough, she says. So he, um, his uh, kudos and appreciation toward us is even uh, carries more weight. We we thank you for that. There's the four, make the ace point and hit on the nine. Okay, so here, this might be one of those cases we referenced earlier where Alfredo's way down in the pip count, but uh, he's almost to the point where he could uh, consider uh, sending it to Neil. Now, Neil would take it, but... Uh, Alfredo needs some points. 5-2. Now he's got an ace or a deuce, so that's 20 numbers. So uh, this isn't the time to make such such a play. The prior role might have been uh, better suited if he were going to do such. So there's the, uh, the direct miss. So what does he do? Can I... It's out in the slot. So now Neil's only got the, the ace to hit. That's a, a nice shake. But Neil, Neil's got four four blots out there. If Alfredo could find a five. Nope. So uh, now he plays on. I think. Probably button up... Uh, Button up a little something in his outfield here so he's not as susceptible to as many fives. Uh, you know, and he's got a, a definite natural G potential here. He might like to get the four away, so he does grab for the cube. So, uh, you know, being four away rather than an odd number, if you guess the G, is there's certain advantages in that. Hey, David. Okay, so four away, 11 away. Kazaros. Now we're to the point in the game. Alfredo's really going to have to try to make something happen if he has any opportunities at all to do so. So he's going to have to start sliding into an aggressive mode. Um... Neil's not one to really pull in his horns too much, but with this big a lead, uh, he's going to play a bit more measured fashion than he might typically do. Well, what's he do with that? That, now, here's, here's Alfredo. Think about it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think you might have. Think you might have missed his market there. I, I would have sent it the prior roll, but. At score, I think it's probably a pass. I, I 
it, uh, I would have, uh, I would have sent it the roll before where you had some real threat potential and Neil probably could have, uh, would have taken it. Okay. Would have had to take it almost. It was, but, uh, there was a definite, yeah, there was a definite threat, uh, by Alfredo. And at that score, you, those are the opportunities you, you have to look for. Yeah, I mean, the, here we are again. You. Oh, you. Uh, now he's going to. Well, he can hit over here. Maybe just come on out with the. Come to the 18 with the second one. Could make the three. Doesn't matter now. I mean, he. Yeah, and like Tara says, he may have already lost the market, but uh, you got to go for it here. I mean, you're down eleven five. There it is. Send it to him. My Neil has a reasonable consideration of a take. Uh, last game, I think he he rolled. It was uh, it was way too late. Now this one. Uh, Neil gives it up again, 11-6. You know, and, and it's kind of interesting because, uh, you know, as we say, with the big lead, Neil's going to play a little bit more conservatively, perhaps. Uh, Alfredo Unis has to, you know, to play more aggressively, certainly. And, um, you know, the... Uh, is Neil, um, you know, he, he's going to play his opponent somewhat as well. I mean, uh, maybe he's, uh, you've seen enough of this match that he thinks he could play uh, relatively cautiously and bring it home. Um, you know, where are you playing, you know, name somebody, Steve Sachs, John O'Hagan, um, Victor Askenazi, Chris Trencher, other Americans, and certainly any number of international players, he uh, he might consider it a little differently. But I, I think his evaluation here is that I'm going to win this match. I'm just not going to give away any uh, any big crooked numbers or give up the opportunity for any big crooked numbers. Well, we uh, we'll actually we will work toward that. <laughs> Mr. Wheeler is uh, he's been playing in Vegas forever. He he never misses a Vegas tournament, I don't think. So uh, here we have that prime against prime situation again. Um. I think because of the score, he should have doubled that. Now he's, uh, you know, Neil would have taken it, but okay. So he's gonna bring around. So uh, let's see it. You don't have to. You don't have to like it. You just got to do it. You know. From whom, for whose Alfredo. perspective? No, I think Alfredo needs to send this cube. There's the six five. And there's the he lost the market right there. So, um, so Neil's going to bring all those checkers in. Alfredo may as well just cash now. It's the. Uh, I mean, there's no real downside to playing on, but um, his his opportunity passed him by, I think. Yeah, there's no downside to playing on, but I mean, it's it's it's, it's correct.
There's the A6. Now, now you. Well, do you just double that or do you? Yeah. Eleven seven. Eleven seven. There. Dimitri uh, each day sends a little something on the streaming, and, and that's appreciated. To the BMAP. Yeah, BMAP is a big, uh, big advancement for uh, backgammon and becoming an increasingly uh, significant factor in backgammon. So, and Dimitri is a big part of that. So, uh, Yeah, Jonah. Jonah wants to one up Dimitri there. <laughs> okay, Ian, balls in your court. Rafael Lopez de Lara is leading Steve 4 3 on stream two. At least the uh, stripper blots are uh, focusing on stream two today rather than stream one. There's Ian Terry. Look at here. He's done five bucks. He's done shamed Dimitri and Jonah here, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank all of y'all. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the, the streams. Okay, who blinks first? There's two more up. Um, Neil's not blinking. He's hitting everything in sight. <laughs> As well, what's the difference in seven back and six back? <laughs> Take the nine. I believe so, yeah. to get a little something going. Takes a roll out of Neil's hand and Neil immediately responds with a double hitter. So, uh... Okay. I call you and raise you, Jonas. <laughs> get a bidding war on donations here. <laughs> Thank all of y'all. You had paid two nights. Now it's what two fourteenths, Dimitri. You... <laughs> okay, so uh, what do we got? Three one. Jeez. So um, hmm. Now what if any? Uh... Neil's uh, decided to. Uh... 
quit putting so many more back and focus on the ones he's already got here. Decided he doesn't want any more back, wants to just let, if he can, let Alfredo just crunch the few remaining checkers that he has. Oh, there's a three. <laughs> Good point, Dimitri. Make a donation and Jonah will match it. I believe that match it plus a penny is what. This is uh, going to be a, a few more rolls before the excitement picks up in this game, perhaps. Now, Say at the club sometimes uh, looks like this one might leave a scar. Uh, this game I'm talking about two cube in play. Neil four away. Neil's got eight eight of Alfredo's checkers back. Checkers, I think. Okay, so you yeah, know, Neil's got so much time now, even Alfredo's going to end up with what his seven checkers all down around his ankles here in a second. He worked so hard to get that three point. Now he's going to have to give it up, perhaps. But Yeah, I, I don't know if Neil should have made it or not on the 6-3 earlier. He was, uh, you know, the intent idea is to to let Alfredo keep playing. And, uh, you know, hopefully Alfredo's going to just totally collapse. And now that he doesn't have any spares on the three-point, you know, if he... To run, he has to give up the three point. He did it while ago, but he was able to remake it. Oh, 
Neil has no fear of, of getting hit because of all the blots over here in the uh, in the home board. Uh oh, a dance. Oh, that's uh, what do we do with that? Two, three. <laughs> seen some interesting ploys on that and there's two so uh wow remember one in san antonio a few years ago when ray was trying to buy uh some timing he put six blots in mochi's home board wrote mochi rolled double aces picked up four of them and ray says well that's okay i'll uh, i've got plenty of timing now Proceeds to roll double aces himself and brings all four of them in. So, <laughs> two, four. So, we, we may see something here. I mean, can can he get all fifteen of his checkers back? And yeah, he's got nine back. Um, Uh, yeah, they might. Uh, <laughs> it might last a dinner break. The loser of this match might lose his opportunity to rebuy it. <laughs> Uh, is he afraid of getting any more sent back? Oh, man. You know, as, 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 for lack of a better word, crazy as this game looks, it, it's going to be interesting because, you know, Neil's going to have to demonstrate some certain amounts of skill in bearing in um, against this. And, and if, in fact, Alfredo is ultimately able to hit a checker or two of Neil's, then, you know, he's going to have a skilled task in front of himself to try to uh, try to capitalize on that and uh, so it's, it's going to be interesting once we once do we get to a certain point here it, it's it's going to get interesting and we're approaching that point right now double fours that's this is what i, I suspected was going to happen alfredo as i said earlier in kind of a crude crude fashion that he's going to end up with his uh remaining checkers down around his angles and uh so now he's got a lot of shots but and if he hits soon then he's got got to go to work to uh, he picks up two he's got to go to work to start trying to bring all these checkers around and trying to contain neil danced you get there's the ace which uh, makes a point so now he's just got to slowly extricate all of these checkers, double fours. That uh, speeds the process a little bit. He make the ace, or does he come on out? He decides to come on out. Okay, you got to get some of them out. There we go. Six, five, so he can hit and come on in. Or he can not hit and come on in. He decides to. Okay, so Alfredo, he, he keeps plenty of spares. He, so he got out, he gets out on fours, fives, and sixes. There's Neil hitting again. Not content with Alfredo only having eight checkers back. Hey, okay. 
So Neil's, uh, I'm sure Neil prefers his position, but he's in kind of an awkward position at the moment. Whoa, thing's got magnets on it. You need to get it in the right spot there. Almost had a baffle box collapse. Up oh, four two, that gets that. So now, uh, he's got to start working these boys around. But five, there's only one three. This is a interesting little number. Kind of makes Neil a, a little odd here. Okay, so four two. So now Alfredo needs to make that six point. There it is. A lot of double shot numbers like that. Well, Neil has options on the floor. Probably correct. And that is a direct. I started to say direct miss, but it did pick up the four. So let's. Uh, so now we go. Now here we're in the position we uh, we'd anticipated. That uh, Alfredo's going to have to try to get all these checkers around and contain Neil's. Uh, Neil's checkers, get them in position. Dude, gotta hit it. Neil has how many checkers off? Uh, so you got eight, ten, five off. So now the question is, when does uh? When does Alfredo send it, or does he? No, Neil already has the cube. Oh, it is. A, it's, yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. Neil's a, Neil's got the cube, so Alfredo, all he's got to do is worry about playing. Shift. Takes away the double five. Still the double five, but you can run and have that one. There it is. Now that's backgammon, folks. <laughs> you know, Neil goes the whole game with uh, Alfredo with eight or nine checkers back, and his other six checkers collapsed, and uh, here we are. Okay, and over on the other channel, Sax is leading Lopez de Lara 6 4. Oh, 
<laughs> we'll see if Raphael's there taking a break on the other table. Let's see. Uh, Okay, so five one. So, in in all likelihood, uh, Alfredo is going to uh, turn this one around and pull it out. So we'll be at uh, eleven nine four way six away and uh, playing on. That was an exhausting game. Uh, somebody's transcribing that one. That was probably. What, 75 moves or something? Uh, and, it, and it played out almost like we we anticipated that it, it might. Uh, Alfredo was, in every likelihood, was going to get a shot or two. And, and then he was going to have all kinds of checkers to distribute around, coming back around to contain anything uh, Neil might do. So, uh, a little bit of disgust <laughs> Neil's actions there, I guess. And a slight smirky, smirky smile maybe on Alfredo's face, but uh, he said, look, Neil, you... Uh, you did that to me three times in, in the early in the early games of the match, and uh, so I got one back at you. So. Uh, that was great. <laughs> Yeah, that was, uh, and it was funny because, I mean, that's, I almost exactly predicted what was going to happen. You were going to get shots, and then it's just a matter of stringing them all out, and bringing them all around, and containing them. But, uh, well, I mean, but he turned, he turned three different cubes around on you early in the match, so this was one that <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> Is, is Glomo there? Is that slow-mo? I presume, perhaps. Did you win? Well, good. You, you can come over here and join us, you know? Awful, awful play by me. I need to make the three points. Yeah, that's, everybody was saying Terrible. that. Yeah. I'm just going to lightly crack. Right. I make the three points. Instead of messing around with the game. Yeah. Trying to crack them the hard way. Yeah. Then I rolled big numbers and I wrecked him. Right. And he didn't crack. And he didn't crack. Uh, you, you might have heard Neil stop by and uh, was beating himself up for not making that three point. He all agrees with us. Okay, so where is that? That's it. Uh, oh, I was just looking. Is that up to date? Uh, that was the original. Original pairings.
Tar was just showing me some of the original pairings here. It's online. Where's this common? Common ninja, although that only have one in, so it's more like combo ninja.com slash brackets. I think she's gonna post a, a link or something, but those uh those initial pairings are uh are online. We don't have any I know there are a few matches finished, but there aren't any results up yet. No, Dan Minardi was saying he won his match, and he let's see, he played Fadul Khoury. So we'll be trying. Uh, oh, she's gonna. There's the there's the uh, round one in rebuys. So uh, now each route along the way during the throughout the week, remainder of the week, we're gonna be trying to. Uh, You know, select the best uh, and most interesting pairings for you, and, and certainly those uh, that are advancing in the undefeated bracket and so forth. And uh, and then at nights, in the evenings, the uh, the jackpot matches tonight are the uh, is the round of sixteen in the uh, super jackpot. So we'll uh, probably at nine p.m. Uh, stream two of those matches. Those draws. That's redrawn each round, so we won't know who those, uh, what those pairings are until right before the uh, the nine o'clock hour. And of course, uh, like I say Steve Sachs has a uh, live streamed uh, lecture at eight p.m. Dinner breaks five thirty to eight. So hopefully, what time is it? Three ten. So hopefully, we'll have uh, on each of the two streams a. Uh, a rebuy match following the the current matches, and then uh, five thirty to eight p.m. dinner break, eight p.m. Steve Sachs lecture, nine p.m. round of sixteen master jackpot matches. So we'll have a full day and uh, resume again tomorrow. So here we go, Alfredo coming back to the table. All right. And we prepare to continue the battle. Four two for Neil. Yeah, so we were all uh Many of us saw it, and uh, of course, Neil saw it himself. He was beating himself up for not making that three-point with the 6-4. And uh, sure enough, it cost him. Okay, so well, apparently could hear Neil when he was uh, lamenting that fact. Okay, here we go. Neil's got some uh, a lot to shoot at early. And uh, Alfredo drops it, so it's 12-9. Three away, six away. That one, I was catching up on the chat a little bit and so forth. And look around and uh, not many moves into the game. That game was over. Neil got a little bit of advantage. I think Neil was still, Neil was still steaming a little bit, so... <laughs> Yeah, maybe so. Neil gets to that forward anchor. He's uh, he's rolling well at the moment. I'd say he's uh, he's still a bit perturbed with Neil. Neil is perturbed at Neil.
It's interesting, uh, you know, many of us, you know, are, are, I don't know, accustomed to making errors on occasion, perhaps. Uh, Neil, perhaps not so much so. And uh, that one was a terribly frustrating game for him. And as I said, I'm, I'm sure that had to be 75 moves on either side. And uh, so it was kind of a prolonged agony following that uh, that misplay. So he got to stew on it for a long time and uh, till dinner was ready and he was he was the main course. Okay. Alfredo makes his move. Nice number, so uh, Neil has the advanced anchor, so it's uh, unlikely too many bad things happens to him here. Now, Alfredo could make the three-point, but he uh, decides to bring that spare end to the three, four. Okay, Alfredo's got a, a lot of builders to ideally make that two-point or three-point here. Neil's got a nice home board. Just can't get the, can't get that permutation he needs. Okay. Alfredo's still looking there. That'll work. Going to make the three-point here. Had to wait a while for the roll, but it was a good roll when it came. Neil what do we do? Just slot the deuce. Could get the shot on the next roll, so he's not going to slot. Another set of fours. So uh, what do we do here? This is this is kind of interesting. You could, yeah, that's that's the safe play, but that's uh, a little awkward. Come next roll, four five. It's Neil's second four five in a row. I I think he's just gonna have to play two off the off the seven and uh, hope to get his shot on this roll. I don't I don't think you. Uh, I wouldn't leave. Neil says, Bill, you aren't Neil. So uh, let's see what happens. 3-1. Nice number. Okay, this could get expensive. 4 Okay, that uh, that takes some pressure off of Neil. Guess you come on with the one from the six. Yeah. Same blotting numbers. Okay, so. Uh, and he's not going to get G'd, so it's going to be 12-11. Neil. So this is uh, only pouring a little salt in the prior wound. Uh, Neil thought he was going to go up, what, 13 to 7, maybe even... 15-7 for the match, and uh, here we are. Going to be 12-11. Uh, Again, uh, doesn't seem to bother Neil, but uh, I'm sure it kind of aggravates him a little bit to uh, 
Kratos keeps wanting to pick those dice up early. And the signs of a money player. And it's, it is funny because neither one of them are obviously in any kind of time trouble whatsoever. So it's just... Uh, so, three away, four away. So, uh, maybe an interesting... Uh, we're getting into some interesting score implications here. Alfredo at four way is only a uh, a double gammon from the match, and they they don't want to they don't want to decide on a roll. They keep uh, rolling, and there's this six four, and Alfredo has a trailer. He goes for that deuce point again, which is kind of a a gammon go type uh, play. Well, Neil would have liked to have made that five point, but uh, probably going to get hit now. Aces. Almost all but a forced play. It's an end. We got sixes for Neil, so uh, really pretty commanding position. Okay, so now he's counting it up, contemplating. Now this will be an interesting cue. Um, you know, Alfredo is four away. He drops his two away, four away. So Neil, Neil, uh, not 100% certain, but decides to roll on. Five, two. Alfredo needs another point in his board off of this roll. Doesn't get it. Just go to the ace, I guess. Not really many viable options here. Oh, he runs out into the face of the ammo. One, four. You know, he avoids the getting pointed on, but uh, gets hit twice. Better perform. That's a performance. Makes the three point. Okay, so this is uh, taking a little bit of a different flavor. Neil dances now. When does Alfredo uh, decide that he's got the... Uh, opportunity for a gammon here and he might just play on now although the problem with playing on is basically he doesn't roll a six or a one and followed by a five or a six soon he's in trouble so there's a lot of um a lot of danger for for neil at this score uh, and Alfredo has some danger of, of not, uh, so he's, he's going to seize on it. I think that's a good cube. So it's a uh, three way, three way. The downside, if, if Alfredo was to roll a, a six or God forbid a six, one, uh, Neil could have easily gotten G'd for the match. So three away, three way. Neil's still haunted by that, uh, six, four in that earlier game. 
Ari. All right. Did you win? Yes. Let me sit down if you want. You can talk about your countrymen down the stretch. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Here's uh, Ari Nogueira uh, from Brazil. Won his match, and he's uh, joined us to watch Alfredo, his countryman, uh, finish this match. Yes. Three-way, three-way. Oh, it looks like uh, he's in great shape now. No, no, no. He's on the other side. Yes. Yeah. He's in bad shape. Was it doubled already? No. No, it's the cubes there, and it's a now it's doubled. He drops. So. Yeah. It's well, interesting. Why again. didn't he do it before? That's, <laughs> that's my question. Yeah. Several games ago, it looked as though. Uh, Neil was going to win. Uh, Fredo had nine back, and uh, Neil made a misplay. <laughs> oh, really? Ended up losing the game, and Neil was, was very unhappy. They took a break, and he come out here. He was upset with himself for for not yeah. making a certain play. Was he upset for hitting? I'm sorry. Was he upset for hitting? He, he could have made a three point during that. And didn't. He didn't see it. He saw it. He just chose not to do it. And, oh, okay. And in retrospect, it was a, not the correct decision. Oh, okay. So here. Uh, Alfredo plays usually very fast. That's how he does. Yeah, yeah uh, and we've noticed that. And it's almost to the point where he, he's, he almost reaches for the dice before Neil. It's the clock, you know. Exactly. But. That's how he is. <laughs> and he's a good player. Well, didn't I, as I recall, he won the Monte Carlo Super Jackpot yes. three or four years ago. Yes, he did. Beat Chris Trencher. Yeah, and he he won a Super Jackpot somewhere else. I think. Is he from Rio also? Or? Yes, he's from, no, I'm from Sao Paulo. He's from Rio. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, some follow less than real. Really. Yeah, not really. So, it's turned in a really good match, Tar. <laughs> we got uh, certainly the man here in Las Vegas, who knows Alfredo better than anyone, Ari, <laughs> <laughs> is uh, watching the end of this match. And one of his first comments, and I told him we were all, uh, we had all noticed that, is that uh, Alfredo almost cannot play fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we see he has 20 minutes left. Uh, Thirteen, twelve. It was twelve, twelve. Neil won the. What about the six one? I think he has Neil to hit. This one he had yes. to hit. I think. Yeah. Yeah, well, he, he can, can make, make the five, but yes. I. Mean, but I think he has to hit. Yeah. Uh, you know Roberto Galli, Brazil. Yes, yes. Yeah, he was saying that Alfredo won the speed game in in Dubai. <laughs> so. Speed game? Yeah. You, you said speed game? Oh, yeah. In Dubai. The, the perfect guy, perfect for, guy for speed game. <laughs> So will you be in uh, Monte Carlo as usual this year? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, I'll be in Monte Carlo and Cyprus again. Yeah. We're going to Istanbul next week. Really? And then we're we're streaming Monte Carlo. Oh really? And uh, very likely go to Cyprus also. I I'm coming back back to Vegas in June. 
not for Beggum, for poker. Mm -hmm. My wife plays. So. Oh, she, your wife plays poker? Yes. Do you play poker? Or do you... I play, but I'm not good. Uh, I'm just... <laughs> So you're the backgammon player and she's not. She's the poker player and you're not. Huh? Yes. And, and believe me, I taught her poker. Oh really? Yeah. And uh, and I I got bored completely about and, poker. And, um, and she focused on it. Right? Yes. Yes. Well, that's fun. That's fun. Nice that y'all can uh, share those uh, yeah, experiences she's here in together. Vegas right now, she's playing a tournament in Venice right now. Oh really? Ah, okay. So uh, here we go. Fortunately for Alfredo, he's got an anchor, so he's he's he'll he'll be in the game toward the end to the end. But uh, Neil has uh, anything but a five, and he makes that point. Huh? Yeah. So uh, Alfredo is in uh, in some trouble here. You both played here a number of times in Las Vegas, Alfredo and you. Hmm? Yeah, I, I played it many times in Las Vegas in the past. Right. But not recently. I played also many times in Cyprus and Monte Carlo. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the other game, nice. Steve Sachs, stream two. Steve Sachs leads Rafael Lopez, Lopez De Lara, 10 7. So, uh, another good match, apparently. So, uh, Alfredo needs some threes. There's one of them. He needs to get in before Neil gets the rest of those checkers around, so at least he has some opportunity for maybe a shot. You know we are playing doubles, Alfredo and me. Oh, that's right. I we streamed y'all last night, right? Yeah. One of them matches. So y'all are alive, yeah. still alive. Yeah, you beat uh, Stacy and uh, yes. Candice last yes. night. Yeah, right. team. I was calling you Team Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> I think Whoa. I've come both down with five four. Yeah, maybe so. Fredo needs some good fortune soon. <laughs> that, there that, it is, finally. That third checker he put on the seven point can hurt him now. Yeah. Okay, gets it off of there, but. Two bots, please. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> That's what I was telling. Yeah, there it is, and that's a brutal one, huh? Yes, it is. Double shot. Oh well. Maybe Alfred is doubling now. Maybe. Who knows? Neil doesn't have any. Eye. Boy, that's a that's a rich double if he wanted to, huh? Oh, he didn't consider it and doesn't get it. Wow. Neil would have had to take it, but it's uh, yeah, I know. It was. Uh, <laughs> He would not have been excited about taking this up. I thought it was a double because of this score. Because he's probably losing a gamma anyway. Yeah, I agree. There we go. Another shot. Oh. Neil is not. Somebody said uh, someone call a medic for the clock. <laughs> Neil's now he's the, thinking about clock, doubling. So. When... Well, he had the double shot earlier. Now yeah. he's only got the single shot. Yeah. But now it's even more likely he's going to get G'd if he doesn't hit it, right? So. Yeah, the win's not a given either. And he doesn't have the G potential now. Earlier he had the G potential. Exactly. So Neil didn't have a check exactly. off. And he's okay. doubles now. I'll take my chance. Neil's got to take it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's roll it. Oh, 
There it is. You have two chances to roll. It's easier. <laughs> so this is oh, oh four oh, thick. Nice, nice, nice shake. Huh? Where is that? Three. Three. three? It's yeah. not a three two or he'd have already hit him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Double three. Double three hit yes. also. Yeah. Hits. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what a game. Three four. Okay, that's a miss. Okay, a double shot again. This is a double shot. H3. Okay. H4. That's exciting. Just make the four point, I guess. I think I'll just play to five and make the four point. That's my play. What do you think? Yeah, I, I like that. Deuces. Okay, so now I just attack. All I can do. Five four hits and covers. Yeah. Yes. Miguel. This is so much like that earlier game where Alfredo had, you know, nine checkers to play with, right? To to, to contain. So now he's likely going to well. Bring on that one. Yes, that yes, one yes, More covers. Yeah. He rolls a 2-6. You got two. Yes. Okay. Attack again. Okay. Just make the make point. point. Don't no, do that. No. Don't do what? that. And there it is. That was That's it. He dances if he makes the point. Exactly. But he rolls an ace. <laughs> Leading a blessed, blessed life. What I think is that if Neil loses this one, he's going to be very frustrated. Yeah, he was very frustrated uh, three games ago as well. So. I, I think Maybe so right. with this I block think, down here. I, I, yes, yes, I like it. I like the play. that up now nah, gotta make the anchor hmm. I think it just makes the 10 point now yes right. yeah it blocks the two six needs a six to cover and then he hits with the 10 yes yeah. yeah, one more Yes, brings in. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> four, six. There's the four. So, okay. This one's going to be an interesting and and neil of course has played forever great oh. player he's been there right yeah. but but everyone gets frustrated <laughs> it's everyone going, ev it's going to be tough for him to 
I mean, he's lost two games that uh, puts him into this position. So it's going to be uh, he's got to let go of him, relax, and, and play the game. The last two shots are pretty good. And misses. Not Whoops. <laughs> excited. Very much. I usually only have all three. Three off. Yeah. Yes. And I think now it's almost over. Yeah. Okay, so it's I think he needs like three doubles. Yeah, yeah. Not it's gonna happen. I don't think. Six three. <laughs> no, it didn't make a difference. Yeah, it, it didn't was, make a difference. But yeah. it's still, it's just kind of <laughs> that much more frustrating. If you roll to the ace. Eighteen fourteen. Yeah, I think so. 14, 13. Crawford's two away. And Sachs is leading Rafael Lopez de Lara 12 7. So, uh, a couple of great matches. This has been a really good match. Neil led. This may be the first time that Alfredo has led. Neil was ahead all, all the way. Match. All, all the way. way. Okay. Yeah, we're up to 100, 100, 155 viewers in this first match today. That's a, 19 likes. Come on, guys. There's 155 people watching, and we've got 19 likes. Let's uh, I'll try my best to Mark Olson imitation and smash that like button. <laughs> okay, now we're getting them. Oh, well, look at that. It's double six. Oh, man, that's... Just as Neil Neil had it, something really good going, and then Alfredo rose to double six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the play. No, one one to the seven point. I think. Yeah, you want the one at the seven point. Yeah, exactly. Have the extra builder to. Uh oh. Well, now he sh he is happy that he didn't put a jacket on the seven point. Yeah. <laughs> One game rollout. No, no. No, you want it where you can get out. Play the court. Come on. He, he should hit and come to the fourth point. Oh, yeah, that's. I think he has to hit two checkers again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, two is easy, two. and three is easy. Ace, so uh, he gets the anchor, so we've got a long game. Okay, <laughs> here all the dose. Oh, and six. And I don't disagree with that. I, I like it, actually, in this situation. He makes it fast. Yeah. yeah. That part. All right. Plan B. Now let's hope he doesn't roll double four. <laughs> okay, that was good. Okay, that's great. That's pretty good. We went from 19 to 49 in a heartbeat. So you, uh, you, uh, like button. Users are helping us out here. We want we want to make Mark happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Neil. An ace point game with a lot of timing. Well, he had a lot of timing. <laughs> it's still okay. No, Fredo 
There's no chance of losing a gamma. So best is, Neil can do is send it to another game. Yeah, exactly. The best he can do. So and just better off, yes. Yes, it is. And well, let me say, Alfredo off the G, so it's. Uh... Yeah, Alfredo's off the G, so. I cleared the six point, yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think uh, Neil was up 11 4. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 11, 11 4. What a comeback. What a one. I think I like to. I'm sure about it. Yes. And now okay. he's okay. in great shape. Up there. Yeah. Great shape. Yeah, it's very difficult to lose from here. Nothing's impossible in back in. Yeah, nothing's <laughs> but, impossible. It's very difficult because even if he were the roll set, which makes him blot, he has 11 off. Right? Exactly. Save the six, make the ace. Yeah, he has. He needs to stay at least one more row. Yeah, he's got to. Got to stay there. No way to win. Otherwise. Yeah, does he have a chance to pick up another checker? Or, or, I... It doesn't look like. No, I don't like this way. There it is. Well, there it is. What do you do here? I, I, I do that. It. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, sure. Match. Wow. Well, congratulations, Alfredo. Thank you, uh, Ari, for sitting down with us. Oh, I'm happy Alfredo won this one. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, that's a, a great win against a great player, but uh, Alfredo's won plenty of things himself too. So he, yes, he's a very yes. good player. So, uh, uh. okay. Well, I'll got to go. We'll be on break for a couple of minutes here. I'm going to go try to find us another match among us, the rebuys. So, uh, yeah, I'll be updating yeah, Tara, i be updating the brackets. Uh, let me go, let me go see what I can find for a match and, uh, we'll be back. Hang, hang with us.
ruffled the the side. I'd cool. like to play the other side. Okay. You want you want to play the other side too? I want to play this one. Yeah, me too. High dice. High dice. I got seven. Okay, we go my way. Okay, folks, welcome back. Round one, a rebuy match. Where are you from? Andreas Hayek of Spain, playing Neil Kazaros of the United States. So uh, both lost in the first round. Uh, Andreas lost to uh, Ergen Bayrak. Neil lost that match to uh, Alfredo Unis of Brazil. So... Uh, here we go. I'm not used to playing this, this side. <laughs> well, the clock. I'll just call it the first. Okay. Someone asked, I'm not sure when. I stepped away a little while, but on this chat, how do you get to stream two? Stream two is on youtube.com forward slash uh, AP Live. Ace point five AP so live, here uh, and here we are on Galaxy for another. Uh, oh, should be entertaining match. I'm not personally familiar with Andreas Hayek. Uh, here from Spain. Certainly, certainly. I, I talked to him briefly. He apparently is in. I asked him if he lived in the states. Now he said he's no, he's here uh, for some medical treatment for a for a six year old son. Been here six months, uh, has to leave soon due to visa considerations. But anyway, um, he's here against Neil. We all know Neil. It's for. Okay, Kazaraz has the good structure. Sends the cube, takes the point. 1 0, Kazaraz. Or wait. What are these? What do you think? Yeah, then I think they started. What do you think, Tony? Oh, his treatment is in Los Angeles? No, it's in uh, Miami. Miami? Okay. 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 So we're gonna go bang bang. Go bang bang. Oh, and whomever. Okay. I don't care. Okay. I'm sorry. A little distractions here as we get situated with the uh, with the second stream Steve Sachs and uh, Rafael Lopez de Lara are at DMP and then we're trying to line up our follow up match to that so we will uh, we'll see so here Neil up 1-0 Andreas uh, Rolls 6-5, brings him down. Neil rolls double threes, makes uh, three-point board, broken five-point prime, or broken six-point prime, actually. 5-2, he has no, he can't move the back ones, so he brings them both down, or two, two blots, and uh, I think this is really his only option. Neil uh, likes his structure. This one uh, fraught with difficulty both ways. Andres drops it. 2 0 Kazaros. I know Neil was uh, upset with himself for uh, that back game misplay that 
that uh, ultimately cost him the match against Tunis. And uh, he uh, he went upstairs and cooled off a little bit, calmed down, I think, come down and <laughs> rebought. And here he is at same table, same uh, same chair, so uh, hopefully to know how to go both ways. his perspective is his luck changes a bit. But he was up on Unis 11-4, uh, so, um, you know, backgammon is a uh, big lead to not always a safe lead. Neil Rolls Nichols. Hey, just looking over at the other one, uh, Lopez Delara won uh, won a single game. They didn't play it as DMP at two away, two away. So now it's Crawford two away, Lopez Delara. Two one for Neil. He's going to hit that split to back and uh, likely going to be sent in a cube handling it. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Now, does Neil send it again? I, I think so. I, I think he's uh, one. It's probably cute. Now he plays on. Nice roll, 4 1. Now it's that's too good. Maybe not. He anchored. He. Uh, So, uh, knocked over a bottle of Coke there. Had a cap screwed partially on it. Now, I mean, it just erupted. I've never seen one few quite as much, but uh, so be it. So, Neil's up 3 0 to 15. Never seen one go off. Okay, back to it. Minor, uh, minor problems there. But uh, I had started to say way back, I, I think, uh, you know, Neil uh, might have uh, noted a bit of uh, reluctance, reluctance on Andres's part to take... Uh, couple of those cubes and uh, you know if, if he uh, senses a tendency or maybe in a weakness uh, in certain regards in, in an opponent's game uh, he's certainly prepared to take advantage of it so we'll see if it uh, plays forward in that regard <laughs> Pretty funny, Reese. That's really funny. In the description? Yeah, I, I told them all ago. Okay. It's in the stream two is uh, youtube.com forward slash AP live. And here, what do we got? Again, uh, you know, for uh, several games here, and Andres has had the uh, kind of an early positional instructional advantage, and it hasn't. Hasn't paid out for him. This time, uh, he has it again. 
got the one checker back. Neil decides to hit it, hit it and uh, five. Now, what's the three? Does he come out with it, or does he play the eight? I think he plays the eight. Neil's going to hit him, make him hit him inside. Five, four. Set. Now, does Neil step up into it? Probably. Anchors on him. Neil rolls with three six. He's running again. He hits him and makes a seven point. Okay, now let's uh, let's test Andres's metal. He reaches for the cube. Neil snaps it up. Go all the way. Yeah, make the point. something <laughs> six and one so that's ten sixty ninety four and one oh seven for light blue right now it's probably ahead what is that five five one so we played an eight and five eight and five Yeah, Neil's way ahead. Really way ahead now. Um, Andres needs that anchor, needs that point. I'm sorry. 5 1. Wow. That's a choice. What do you do with that? That's the question, huh? I guess that's right. Okay, another chance to make the six prime. Another wasted opportunity. Man, it's uglier by the moment. I mean, he's still much rather be in his position, but Neil's way ahead in the pip count. There's a one. I was looking for a six to go with it and didn't get it. So uh, Andres still can't. He's got to hit him now, I think. He's too far down. Um, you know, he's got returns if he does get... He has to hit, I think. Yes. Has to hit. Right. Okay. Neil. Fours. That'll, that'll work. I think uh, any of us could play the fours. Doesn't do you any good. Just bring it to the three. If the if the nine didn't stack on the five, you might consider it otherwise. But three. Now, no, no, what's the, oh, the, the 
places. Okay. Mm. The most unlikely G, but stranger things have happened. There's probably there's some strange G's in there. There's a, a few strange losses in there too. So see what happens. Three five takes two more off, but uh, increasing chances of, of blotting here. <laughs> Five one, no, uh, I'd, I'd take it off. Neil comes in. Neil's got to run anyway. Has no defense over here. Two six, okay. So now most unlikely to to game him, but we keep rolling. There's always that chance. So much for that. It's going to be three two. Neil. Possible. I don't think so. But We're here, uh, Lopez, Delara, and Sachs playing Crawford two away. Three, two. Steve got hit with 18 of them, four off. So uh, he's in danger of losing this match. Okay, so Neil makes the point with 5-3, 6-3 for uh, Andres. Six hit coming this way. Bring it on down, Neil. There you go. Now, uh, Andres better better perform here. He does. You say Neil would be shipping a cube. Three, two. Just a intense uh, hitting contest here. Threes. Make the five and hit on the... Oh, that's the other one. I'm looking at it backwards again. One more. <laughs> to Neil. I'm gonna give up the mid to hit at six back. He might play the other side of this, uh, this kind of back game that cost him the prior match. Fours, one, two, three. Four, 
Five one, so you can make the five point and come out with something. Not that one. It's that one. Threes. Wow. All the way with that. And then one more. That's safe. And that's good. He's kind of extricated all the checkers. Neil's got a bunch of stuff back. Um, he can make the 16. See how aggressive uh, Andres wants to be here. Yeah, it looks like uh, somehow Sachs managed to win that Crawford uh, two-way game. So now it's the true DMP, 14-14, Lopez, Delara, and Sachs on stream two. Okay, just clear the 16, 15, yeah. Four six, he's gonna run with that spare. Yes. Five six. Is, no 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 no. It's eight and a four should have been. Um. Five. Another 6-5. Let's try it. Well, you can't play it quite the same way. <laughs> now he's going to have to play it. What? To the 4 and the ace? Okay, so. Back to one. And on the other game, this will be finally the last game for Sachs and Lopez Delara. Okay, only has five nickels, so uh, we got a blot. No, well, leave one, leave one on the mid, leave one on the mid. That way, you only got a single shot at it. One, two, three, that's right. That's right, and it's a single shot. And a number of combos, but one single shot, one blot in play. Neil likes his opportunities here. I mean, the structure is such that if, if Neil were to miss this, Neil's probably going to get additional shots anyway. Um... Yeah, Neil owns the cube. And he did miss. He missed that. Had a lot of threes blocked, so. So what do we do? We come down, uh, you make the bar, just come to the, what is that? The four, I guess, huh? Yeah. Now, Andres, don't look at it too long because you don't have it here. Or two. Uh, there you go. That works. Yeah. Six fours hit. Now. You either come in or you uh, go home. Uh, okay. But what's the three? I guess just to the ace. Huh? Six. 
Say Neil's just got or the center cube. I think he'd uh, pin it this roll or maybe even the prior roll. With it being a recube, he may be a little bit more hesitant. Okay, that's a. Uh, that's supremely, supremely ugly. Plays it superbly safely. <laughs> and now he gets a cube. And, oh, he snaps that up. I'm, I'm stunned. He, he's going to get punished for that. As they say, that one's going to leave a scar. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, and, but he just spreads everything out. If, worst thing in the world would be for Anders to come in. That's Neil. Play on with this checker. Yeah, play the, play the 10 and leave that back out there. Ooh, pardon. Both of them have huge amounts of time. Both play relatively quickly, so time's not going to be a consideration likely in this match. So... Neil is uh, contemplating what to do there. I'm I'm a little surprised by that play, but I would have thought he'd have played a little bit more aggressively, uh, going fishing, looking for another checker. Yeah, I mean everything. Like I say, the worst. The last thing Andres wants to do is roll an ace. Now you can close it out, but I don't know that you want to close it out. Play to the, uh, what is that, the 14 and, 14 and 4. He's uh, trying to decide among his options. I, I play, okay, That's I would have played it slightly differently, but I would have left that uh, 20 point. 6-5. Now he's getting squeezed by the dice to... Uh, to maybe make that point. So he closes it out. It's going to be interesting. I mean, there's a... Uh, not a huge number of gammons in this position, but there's there's some gammons, um, and that slightly out of view there. But uh, Andres is holding a four cube, so uh, some serious some serious danger here. Danger. Worse by the moment. Neil's got 10 checkers. No sense trying to get 
tricky. 6 1, take the crossover. 5 3, it's going to be tight. Got some long crossovers off of this 18 point over here. So he's got 2 5 6, Neil's got 8, Neil's got 6, 6 and 6. That helps take the crossover. So Andres got to have a six in the near future. Seven. Got it. Oh, got to take them both in. Now he's got to have that six. Can't be paired with a three. Uh oh, oh, man. 11 to 2. Like I said, that one left a scar. What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Forgot. Forgot. I forgot. Thank you. So, here we go. 11 2 Kazros after that. Uh... What was it? Really, I, I think not to critique necessarily, but I think a questionable take on that 4 cube, and he got gammoned on it. So, uh, here we sit. Closed out. Yeah, Steve's closed out against Raphael. 14 14. So, uh, looks most unlikely that Steve would be able to win this. Oh. Raphael clears the six point. Steve comes in. So, that looks like a Lopez de Lara win. So Steve will be beating a path up to see Rory again. Okay. I don't know. I mean, at some point, he's, he's got to step up. He's got to learn to step up against that. End of the end of the movie is always the same when uh, you don't give yourself a chance to win. You can't win. Sixes. So now he's getting. Uh, even though he has a kneel on the bar, he's still getting way out ahead of himself. There's the ace. Okay, so Lopez de Lara beats Sachs on stream doing, two. Fine and you. Good, thank you. Nice to so, see you. Uh, nice to see you too. Raphael advances into the nice undefeated bracket tomorrow. He's done for the night. Let's see, he may still be alive in a jackpot. And Steve will be uh, beating a path to the rebuy desk, I'm sure. Okay, four, two. He's, yes, yeah, you got to step up. Long ago, yeah, had to step up. Okay, he turns that one down. What she do? He's now probably a somewhat flat coat. I'm going to...
surprisingly. It still has a little bite to it. Okay. Well, to Kazaros, not an enviable position for anyone. Certainly, uh, Neil knows how to bring these home, although he didn't prove it against uh, Alfredo last game. Neil was up 11-4 and, uh, and lost, much to his own dismay, and he felt probably uh, some responsibility for that, for that back game that perhaps he misplayed, misplayed playing into a back game. Okay, let's switch back over here so I can see our chat line. Yes, Nigel, we do try to do that somewhat. I was, we were watching the end of the uh, stream two match on the computer rather than watching the chat line, but we'll, uh, we will do that. Tara's been uh, blocking the spam as often as she can. We pretty much thought we'd eradicated it from stream one, although they've uh, found us again. Three, two for Andreas. <laughs> Pretty interesting, somewhat by the uh, luck of the luck of the pairings and so forth. We've had uh, well, we had players from Brazil, Mexico, and now Spain. In the uh, in today's streamed matches, now for everyone's uh, information, these late starting matches will obviously finish them to their conclusion. There'll probably be probably be another one on. Stream two beginning in a moment, but the official dinner break here for the players and so forth is five thirty to eight. Uh, like I said, this probably around two or a stream two match will play into that dinner break somewhat. Uh, then at eight p.m. Pacific, Steve Sachs is giving a a lecture, which will be. Uh, live streamed and obviously live for those players in attendance here who want to uh, to watch it. And then uh, play resumes at 9 with the uh, jackpot rounds of 16. Probably uh, have two, two rounds of 16 matches in the uh, Masters jackpot, which is synonymous with the old used to be called the super jackpot here in Las Vegas. Thousand dollar entry jackpot. So again, this is a somewhat of a prime versus prime situation. Neil uh, is in a bet, much better position than uh, Andres unless Andres rolls a a six in a hurry. With this 12-2 lead, Neil is uh, prudently hesitant to uh, to double it, put a cube in play. Now, if uh, what is that four five? So that's just more trouble for Andres. Roberto, Cafe Cafe, U.S. team is watching. Congratulations. Uh, fell ever so closely short of the playoffs. I uh, hope, uh, I guess the um, individual tournament started today. What's today here? I guess it's uh, 
yesterday for for y'all. I hope uh, some of you are having good fortunes in that in that event. Yep, that's where it goes. One, okay. two, three, four. Nigel, this uh, this particular Jeffrey Parker board is is a demo board that they've uh, used at a number of tournaments. Uh, underneath, there's Neil. He's going to go ahead and cash this. Uh, one of the leather panels, which underneath the uh, Apple box now says Las Vegas Open or something. Like that. that one panel can be removed and then title of another tournament be uh, relatively easily installed. This is what they call a table board in that it doesn't have a handle. It's just uh, intended to, uh, you know, not be carried around and uh, what have you. So uh, this is a demo board. It's it's not necessarily for sale. Um, typically, it used to uh, Jeffrey Parker sponsorships. Uh, gave tournament boards now it's it's uh, typically a voucher type system when they uh, when they sponsor a tournament like our tournament in texas recently the winner john o'hagan got a jeffrey parker voucher toward a, a new board and uh, also in texas of course we did the ubc usa championship and we had four new void boards there and uh, one of them went to the winner of the ubc usa which was john o'hagan who's going to istanbul next week to play in the ubc contender tournament and the other three void boards were uh, were sold at the tournament in texas for uh, they were shall we say ever so slightly used and were sold at a minor discount but uh, people were glad to get them Those were some of the first uh, void boards, maybe the first void boards that had uh, made it to the States. I know a number of, of people have have bought void boards now. But let's see, who bought the ones in Texas? John Mack and Johnny Mack and Albert Stegg and uh, Benjamin Harris bought the uh, the other three void boards. Okay, so Neil uh, oh, sorry. These don't move. coasting with a 13 to 2 advantage here with, uh, again, a, a relatively strong position in this game. Um, Neil's an extremely strong player and has been favored with some uh, excellent dice in this game and. and you know, again, one uh, what seemed to be a an opportune take by uh, Andreas of a four cube, which ended up getting him gammoned for eight. But uh, we proceed. That's that's her hits and covers. Yeah. Oh, look at here. We got Roberto watching with Carter, Arena, David Clausa, Matt Recladis, and Kerry Horty. So, um, no, from uh, Venice. Now, uh, y'all are either, let's see, what time is it? 9 13. You know, so, you're not up early. You're just, uh, you're up late. <laughs> So hopefully that's, I'm sure that's some nice food and some good wine uh, associated with the viewing here. And I'm sure uh, Neil is, is not overconfident here. He, he uh, spit the bit in his first match uh, by his own admission. He was up 11-4 uh, and uh, lost. Uh, Made uh, he had nine 
Alfredo Unis with nine checkers back and uh, made a couple of uh, perhaps unwise decisions coming in against that uh, that back game and by Neil's own admission. Uh, a couple of misplays and uh, ended up losing that game and ultimately the match. And he was not a happy camper. So, uh, again, having been up 11 4 and lost, uh, I'm sure he's happy to be up 13 2 here, but uh, doesn't want to <laughs> experience a reoccurrence of, of that nightmare. And of course, this is the rebuy round. So, uh, Whomever wins this match, you know, starts uh, along with the, the other first-round winners in the undefeated bracket tomorrow. I mean, look at my trusty schedule here. Championship and intermediate division play resumes at 11 a.m. Pacific tomorrow. So there'll be... Uh, you know, a large number of the players in the undefeated bracket, there'll be a smaller, much smaller number will uh, initiate their next round to play in the consolation bracket. And again, this is uh, maybe frighteningly reminiscent of the uh, the position in the prior game that before it went totally south for Neil. But... Uh, I think he's uh, 6'2". He didn't necessarily want to pick up that checker, but he may not have an option. Okay, so there Andreas says, it's now or never. If I'm, I'm, you know, if I don't win this match or game, I'm probably going to lose a game anyway. So let's uh, let's play for two. And um, so here we go. And Neil hopes to sustain another roll or two so that. Uh, and he does, such that Andres can seriously crunch here. He's uh, obviously, he could uh, use a six for that spare on the uh, on the 22 to get something moving. But without that, uh, checkers uh, start crashing around his ankles here. I don't know that uh, Nigel, his nickname, if any, uh, if he plays online, I'm sure he probably does. I'll ask him at the conclusion of this. Okay, so uh, Andreas did get the six, which uh, allows him to save a bit of a board. Got a lot of sixes, which, uh, you know, there's good and bad aspects of that. But Neil, uh, you know, he only has spares on four, five, and six, so there's some some blotting numbers in his uh, in his cup there. Two, three is a not one of them. That's a nice one. Six, five. So let's just go to the go to the five point. Three fives. So Neil's doing well right now. Got about one more dangerous roll. Six five. Run with that. And make the five. That's it. Yeah. No. No. Eight. There you go. <laughs> well, and there it is. It's the shot. Misses the shot. He hopes for another. Neil, where there's a gap, there's hope, I always say. So there's a gap. So maybe, uh, 
Maybe Andreas can uh, salvage one of his nine lives here. Why, why leave with it? Just put it there. <laughs> he'd have left it on the five. He'd have had the double shot. Or left it on a six. I mean, he'd have had the double shot. And he'd have missed regardless. So some days uh, chickens, some days feathers. And uh, it's been the feathers day for our Andres. Six one. So uh, I hear Rosie O'Donnell clearing her throat in the next room here. Six five. Three two. Almost. All but hopeless here. Double ace helps. It's to stay around for maybe a second extra roll. Or two. So now Neil's uh, odd. Six one will play, although he has to has to break, but it's better than uh, having to leave. 3-2. Neil can play that. Now, no sixes. What was that? Too, too small. I couldn't see what it was, but double twos. So now, maybe a shot? Maybe a double shot. How about this? Can he hit? He cannot. That's uh, that's curtains in the vernacular. Okay, so um, that's the end of that match. We hope to have one more match. I know Steve Sachs is rebought and is awaiting a an, a, an opponent. So we will show that on stream one. Um, as soon as that's available. So hang with us. Yeah, and Nigel, I'll ask Andres about uh, an online nickname uh, when he, they step out of the room here. So hang on with me for a moment. All right. Good luck in the consolation. Right. Yeah, Steve Sachs <laughs> might be playing right up, <laughs> right up to his lecture. <laughs> Might have to break his match for a lecture if he plays too long. So uh, we'll be back shortly. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, uh, Andres does not play on Galaxy or Heroes. He plays on some app, um, and I've seen the logo, but I don't recall the name of it. Um, it's like a Loving Cup trophy-looking logo. It's on the uh, Venice website and streams, um, but... I don't recall the name of the of the app right now. But that's where he plays online. 
So uh, anyway, uh, hopefully have another match starting here soon. So hang with us. Oh, yeah, I guess.
Hello, guys. Bill Riles here from Las Vegas. Uh, we finished streaming matches for this afternoon. Um, didn't work out where there was a um, another rebuy match to play before the dinner break. So uh, we're going to shut the stream down. We'll be back at 8 p.m. Pacific time, which is in about two hours, for the live stream of the Steve Sachs lecture. And then at 9 p.m., an hour after an hour allotment for the lecture, we will stream uh, two streams of the round of 16 of the Masters jackpot. So uh, we will see you in a couple of hours. Thanks for uh, hanging in there with us, and we hope you enjoyed the streams this afternoon. Talk to you in a bit later. Thank you. Good night.